Let's talk about swapping out the individual kit pieces. Now, if you've already created a configuration that you like, before we disappear, if you'd like that to be your general kit every time you load up Superior Drummer, you can go to File and choose Set Current to Default Project. That means if I quit Superior Drummer, and I open it up again, when it opens up, you'll see the default kit that it loads is not going to be that simple one-time kit. It's loading up my Yamaha kit. So there we go. I've got the Yamaha kit ready to roll as soon as I open up. Now, if you want to swap out individual pieces, you don't have to use that right-clicking menu. If you want to, you can click on the individual drum and right-click the individual drum. And by doing that, you can swap out a different kit piece. So you'll see I've got some drumstick hits here, but I've also got some alternative articulations like brushes and rods and alternative configurations of the snare itself. So they're giving me some common ones that I can swap in, but I could swap in any drum. I don't need to have a snare there if I don't want to. So I could right click that drum again and then click on search for instrument up top here. And when I do that, I can use the search field to add in any instrument I want. So you see there's a lot more snares that came up. I could add in an electric snare if I want. Nice little TR8, replace the snare, and I'm good to go. Now, if I don't like what I've done and I want to get back to it, I don't need to go back and open that menu again. The undo function will actually undo kit pieces. So if you're in a DAW and you, you know, are working on stuff, you can actually go to the undo within Superior Drummer and stop the changes that you made. You don't have to worry about the things that you played in the DAW disappearing. You can go ahead and use Superior Drummer's undo and go back to the kit you wanted.